Season 4 of BoJack Horseman came out this past weekend, and uh, I binged it all, like all in one night, and then I had some time to think over it, so I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it. I've talked about this show every year since it came out back in 2014. And every year, I'm always impressed at what kind of stories they can come up with. Being both emotional and at the same time very comedic. It really is a true dramedy. I found it kind of weird that the first episode of the season focused on Mr. Peanut Butter and Bojack was nowhere, but it was nice to see an episode focused on a completely different character, and we actually see that a couple of times uh, throughout this season. The whole plot of Mr. Peanut Butter running for governor is really weird and out there, and it flashes back to um, when he got his first job on that sitcom and how Everything in life is sort of just given to Mr. Peanut Butter, and he never really fails. Then in the second episode, we see Bojack go back to uh, Michigan, where his uh, mother's house was originally. Or I guess the place where his mother grew up. And we see a lot of flashbacks uh, with her growing up and, and her family, and uh, how uh, her dad treated her and also her mother. So uh, we see a lot of backstory with that, and that's very interesting. It delves into stuff like loss and uh, having dementia at one point, which is uh, very, very dark. There's an episode focused on Todd where um, he's uh, trying to struggle with his identity of being an asexual, um, which honestly, I still don't really understand myself, um, uh, being that I I've, I've met people who have said they were asexual, and I still don't really understand it completely. Uh, so it, it was nice to see an episode about that uh, and them trying to explore that kind of identity. But one of the biggest things for this season is the introduction of a new character, um, uh, Hollyhock, who is uh, allegedly um, Bojack's uh, lost daughter. And the interactions with her and Bojack are really great, and we see how Bojack is trying to react to this and trying to make it good. And uh, my favorite episode of season four is actually episode six, which is uh, called, um, let me see here, uh, yeah, Stupid Piece of Shit. And you get to see Bojack's thought process of how he uh, sees himself. And you see it in a very stylized look, and it looks really great. Um, and it, it, it really shows what goes into a person's mind of like self-deprecation and everything. And uh, that, that's unfortunate uh, that a lot of people do that to themselves. Sometimes people get so wrapped up into everything they're doing wrong that they just want to run away and do something else. It's definitely something that I, a lot of people I know personally go through. There's also an episode uh, focused on Princess Carolyn and uh, how she's dealing with her problems uh, with her, her mouse boyfriend and the, how they're trying to get pregnant, but um, she's infertile, so uh, she's, she's not having any, any uh, luck getting, getting a kid. So that's very interesting to, to, to talk about um, with uh, her imagining like her, um, her great-great-granddaughter talking about her day in... <laughs> It's a, it's a pretty funny episode, too, because, like, um, like her great-great-granddaughter's, uh, in the future is talking about, like, what's happening with Princess Carolyn's life, and then it's like, now let's look what, to see what, uh, Bojack and Diane are up to. So, I thought that was hilarious. There's also a lot of other great, uh, hilarious quotes, uh, throughout the, the season, and throughout the entire show itself, but there's one that, uh, Todd says, like, um, it's great to be included in somebody's sentences. Or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of like really short lines that are very hilarious. Where I I, I just have to rewatch the show and uh, try to figure uh, try to uh, point out those those quotes and like save them for later. I'm not sure if they're actually going to do a season five after this because I do kind of like the way that it ended, uh, though it ended a little bit open ended. So um, uh, it could uh, lead to something uh, for season five. I'm not sure what they're going to do for season five. Um, but I'd hope they keep some of the, um, the stuff that has gone on throughout season four, like, uh, <laughs> especially some of, like, the background gags that have happened where they actually built a bridge to Hawaii that's, like, 2,500 2, miles long. So, yeah, if they keep stuff like that, I think it'd be funny. So, the, the show isn't completely dramatic, like I said. It, there's a lot of comedic moments, so it is a, a true dramedy. Um... So I would still highly recommend uh, watching through the series if you still haven't seen it yet. Um, the, the first season is probably the weakest one, uh, but it does just only get better from there. So if you have seen season four of BoJack Horseman, tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye.